And while the violence in the Middle East has sparked more protests here in Manhattan, hundreds of demonstrators supporting Palestinians and those supporting Israel are right now both at Washington Square Park. Right now you're looking at live pictures from News Copter 7. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang is on the ground for us covering this and continues our coverage. Lucy. It is loud here. It is emotional. This is basically the Palestinian Israeli conflict played out on the New York City stage with heated emotions on both sides. You can see from our news, Copter 7, above Washington Square Park, how the blue line of the NYPD is in the middle of all this to make sure words and chants do not translate into violence. On the one side, you have pro-Palestinians calling for a free Gaza, an end to their oppression. On the other side, you have pro-Israelis demanding the release of the hostages and the end of Hamas. Both sides adamant in their opinions, insistent in their claims that they are the victims. Hundreds have gathered here tonight to make sure their voices are heard. Because the Palestinians have been oppressed and murdered for the past 75 years, um, because we're tired of it, and because it's ridiculous the attitude towards it in this country. In an ideal world, the safe return of the hostages, the replacement of Hamas with a serious government for the Palestinians. I believe the Palestinians deserve their own state. But Hamas is not a government, it's a terrorist organization. And they are torturing their own people more than Israel ever could. Again, we have a large crowd building here, lots of posters and chants and flags and heated opinions about what should be done in the Middle East. We see a heavy police presence here to make sure there is some space between the two factions and that this demonstration does not turn violent. Thankfully, at this hour, we can report this is an emotional but peaceful duo demonstration. We're live in Washington Square Park tonight. I'm Lucy Yang for Channel 7. Eyewitness News. Lucy, thank you. From the ground now, we want to head up to Shannon Sohn in News Chapter 7, where you get a better view of the NYPD and the dividing line that they have created between these dueling protests. Shannon. And you have to remember when this started, the pro Palestinian side was quite far away. And as soon as they merged together, the NYPD came out of the woodwork. You've got two lines of officers separating the pro Israelis from the pro Palestinians, about 100 strong. On the top part of your picture are the Israeli supporters. On the bottom part are the pro Palestinian supporters here. And at one point, the Israelis were outnumbered, probably 1 to 20. They numbered in the dozens now. They number in the hundreds just on the pro-Israeli side. So you can see what a large crowd they have to contain here. But the police are doing exactly what they set out to do, even putting up barricades with hundreds more on hand in case things get out of hand.